Hello guys, Nature Crazy Survivalist here. This is a video about how we cut up our deer. We process it all ourselves and instead of taking it into like the butcher or somebody else to process all the meat, we grind our own hamburger, cut up our own steaks and roasts and make our own jerky and summer sausage and all that stuff. And here I'm just showing you how the meat grinder works usually we don't have all the other stuff plugged in we'll just have the grinder plugged in and then we'll use a switch on the power strip to turn it on that is one sealer that seals bags and this is the other sealer that sealer the one i'm showing you now has actually a vacuum sealer before it melts the plastic together and seals it same same as the stuff on the um at the store and that meat grinder is pretty much homemade. I might make a, another short video completely about that where my dad talks about it. That's where we put our yucky stuff. We cut off the deer when we're cutting it up. And we that trash bag hanging on the wall. When we don't, we cut off little slivers of gristle and fat and tallow and put it in there. Here is Heidi. She's using the first sealer that does not have a vacuum sealer, and she's sealing hamburger, ground up deer burger, in a one of those bags and sealing it up to put in the freezer. Mm. Yeah, she didn't didn't get it sealed. There's some meat trying to squeeze through. You want to get it all the way sealed, or you'll get freezer burn. You want it sealed perfectly, or you get freezer burn. And I really like deer a lot better than beef because you never know where your beef's coming from. And most of them, they lived in a feedlot the last six months of their lives living in their own poop. So that's kind of grosses me out. I'd much rather have a wild animal on my table than something that lived in its own poop the last six months of its life. Miserable. It's also... I believe a lot more ethical to shoot deer than to eat beef because you know where that came from it's straight from nature it's not it's not an animal yeah and no vaccines no no antibiotics nothing nothing used on the deer they they're just perfectly healthy anyway most of the time they do get parasites and stuff, but that's that's all another video, and there's lots of information on that elsewhere. All right, here we're just like trying to clean up the um, meat on the rib cage. There, there's a whole lot of clotted blood there, and we're trying to clean it out, clean all the gristle and fat and tallow off that we're not gonna grind up in hamburger and well, that piece I'm cutting off now is going to go in the grinder. It's good enough to grind. But that black stuff, that's clotted blood, and you don't want that in there. You'll have meat that tastes like iron or blood, and that's not, not good. But a little fat in your hamburger isn't going to bother anything. And sometimes with this grinder, you got to cut it into strips so it'll go through better and... It's always a good idea. And see there, we unplugged everything else from that power strip, and now we've just got the meat grinder plugged in, so we can just use a switch on the power strip to um, turn the meat grinder on and off. Pretty great deal. I'm trying to get that twisted to where it'll go in there easier. Once you get it in there good, you don't usually have to use the plunger thing to shove it down. It'll just pull all by itself. The bigger long chunks will. The uh, shorter chunks won't. They just stick to the sides. So I'm going to have to use a plunger and shove it on down. But yeah, my dad made that pulley. The only part of this meat grinder that's not homemade is the actual grinder itself that pulley my dad made and fit to size and the electric motors from 
something else. I think a a fan from the, like the furnace fan, our old furnace. I think is where that came from. And that wooden thing it's all mounted on. That's the top from our old dishwasher. So now me and my sisters are the dishwashers. I'm trying to dry all the clotted or not clotted mud, but the blood and lymphatic fluid off of that. And the there's a layer of like a membrane in between the different like um, pieces of meat or muscle groups, and that'll swell up with water and turn into kind of a jelly sub substance. In fact, I think I read somewhere that that stuff is what they make jello out of. Is the the like the tendon and gristle and like you've read about horses hooves and horses being turned into glue. I think that's what they're talking about is that. I think it's called collagen, but I'm not completely sure. I'd have to look that up. I have a real bad memory. I should know, but I don't. So yeah, before you go tell somebody else that, look it up. And here we are. This is real sped up. I'm going to just show you how I make fajita strips and I, you can also use these little strips I'm going to be making here to make beef jerky but we cut we just you cut them up and freeze them and use them for fajita strips and there and there yeah I'm going to throw that in the grinder cuz it's not it's not good for fajita strips you don't want anything any gristle or anything fat or anything in your fajita strips or your jerky you'll throw that in the grinder and you, it'll go in your hamburger and it doesn't hurt the hamburger at all but yeah those strips are perfect for jerky or making fajita meat fajita strips if you season them right and I might comment leave a comment and tell me whether you want me to put some of my recipes in videos or if you just want the bare bones stuff like I'm doing now just telling you how to do the basics that nobody really knows how to do because everybody likes their own recipes I want to know if you want want me to show you some of mine and we'll actually vacuum seal the fajita strips and the steaks and the roasts we do not vacuum seal the um, hamburger. I don't know why. My mom's in charge of all that. I just shoot deer. I don't. And I will help process like I am now, but I won't. I'm not in charge of anything, really. I'll give advice, but nobody ever listens to that. And that little thing, if there's any extra liquid, like lymphatic fluid or blood or water in the bag, then that'll be sucked out and it'll be in that groove there. I think you can buy a food saver like this one for like um, $65 or something. The little one, it's old, old, old and it's it's outdated. I don't even think those are available anymore. They might be, but I'm I don't think so. So yeah, and we're about done with this video, and I'll see you guys next time when I make another video. Oh, there's steaks. Those are from the back strap on the deer. Those are steaks. Yep, see you next time.